I bought AirTag. I, I bought one of these stupid things. You know the things that run off, run off of a. They run off of a stupid 2023 battery or 32 battery or something like that. And uh, it's Apple's version of killing off tile. And I know that, uh, so basically, I just wanted to do a little review. This is actually my second time making this video, just because of how bad it turned out the first time. Why is this not centered? Thank you. Uh, yeah. So basically, just like a little thing here. We set this, just, just stay. Uh, okay, or don't stay, that's fine. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to hold it. This thing is honestly really cool. Like, it, it just pairs instantly with, like, anything. Um, I mean, it was, like, what, 30 bucks, I think? Which, I guess, is a little pricey, but I think that that's the same as tile, which you don't know what that is. This is basically Apple's way of killing tile. I am not even kidding. Um, now, of course, because this just, if you have an iPhone, it just connects instantly. It's like, it's like AirPods. It's like everything else. It connects to Find My, and then tile, you have to download a whole other app, blah, blah, blah. This just, just, it works just seamlessly. So at least for the most, anyone that has iPhones, this is definitely better than buying a tile because it just connects with everything. But at the same time, this thing doesn't come with any key rings. It doesn't come with, it doesn't come with anything. It, it, all it comes with is just, just this and, and a battery. And supposedly the battery can last for two years. Now I know the big question is, does it scratch? Yes, I have not had this terribly long, and it hasn't been used a whole lot yet. And just, just look at all the scratches on it. If at all. It's just being reflective now. Okay, the back has scratches, right? Okay, it's really hard to see, but yes, there's a bunch of scratches on this thing. Like, I can see them. Uh, oh, there we go. You can kind of just see them. But overall, I do really rate this thing. I, I absolutely love this. I definitely think you should go not this by this. This and I think you guys should go and buy this. It is really good. And I'm not being paid because I only have 13 subscribers. Who, who, who would care? Um, but overall, it, it just looks good with the Apple logo and the random lighting. It definitely looks really good. It doesn't look as good as when I first bought it. Here's some pictures of me uh, opening it. But at the same time, I don't know. It, it just works seamlessly. You can track it. You can do whatever. Um, yeah, it's almost like just a really cool, cool looking, nice thing just to have and just to be able to put it anywhere. But I do think it sucks that you have to buy individual things to put this on, like it doesn't come with like just something. Even if it just came with something put in your keys, I think that'd be better. Cause as it stands, you can put it in like a little cart and that's about it. And that just fell. So overall, I know that this is only gonna be like a really short review, but I mean, it's a piece of plastic and some metal that tracks you. But it does say that you can't just let it track you. But the thing is that it's been next to other people's iPhones that are I like, in the house and it, I don't think it's ever gone off. Now, I don't know if it goes into your contacts or what it does, but it, I, I haven't seen it go off next to any iPhones, but it has, so hasn't been right next to iPhone, just in like the same general area as an iPhone. So I guess we'll just see what time tells, but overall I do definitely like this thing and I do definitely rate it. Buy it. Uh, see, I just wanted to add this little thing. So yeah, the AirTag is definitely cool, but there's not much to it. I mean, look, I, I think it's just okay. I don't know how much tiles normally go for. They sometimes go for a little bit more, I think. But the thing that's nice about Tile used to make it, I don't know if they still do or not, where you had to throw them away when they died. These things you can replace. And I don't know if you still can, or if that's the thing with tile. I think they changed that. Not sure though. But this thing does scratch. But it honestly feels really good. Like normally plastic feels really cheap. But honestly, it, it feels really nice. It feels premium, even though it's a $30 thing. And this is really cheap. I mean, I think their earbud, earbuds, the little dirty buds that Dang call, Pod calls them, Dang Pods calls them. Um, are cheaper than this, but this is honestly really good for the price and how well it works. I'm been, I've been putting up some footage throughout it, but it honestly just works really well. And I definitely recommend if you can afford it to go and buy these things. You can get a four pack, but I don't know if that's really needed. It just depends what you need. Um, I'll put up the math here, which ones is it actually cheaper to buy individual four or just buy the four pack? Not sure. I do not like that you have to buy extra accessories. Like this is the only thing that comes with it's kind of useless without anything else to it. But you can always buy those things, but don't. I suggest you don't buy the most expensive ones. There's really no point to that. But overall, I do definitely like this thing. I think if you can buy it, buy it. Anyway, till next time, bye.